Hello everyone. The international community almost seems too happy to have a distraction of rockets having fallen in Poland because that means they don't have to deal with the fact that Ukraine continues getting pounded. 10 million people are either without power or dealing with rolling blackouts and brownouts because Russians continue uh, attacking Ukraine's infrastructure. I think it was uh, Putin's a spokesman, Biskov, who is a real piece of crap of a human being, um, say, I think that was him who said that, well, um, attacking Ukraine's infrastructure is part of the military target operation because Ukraine refuses to surrender. Let that sink in for a second. Meanwhile, as pointed out before, I told you so, the uh, interruptions in the Nord Stream gas supply due to the break-ins in the pipelines are likely due to sabotage. And again, I have very little doubt who actually carried out the sabotage in question. President Zelensky has been very vocal in saying that Ukraine is not to blame in the um, incident um, in Poland and while I understand that it is premature for him to say, absolutely, no, they were not Ukrainian rockets, I agree with his sentiment. Ukraine is not to blame. And it's only going to get worse. It's, it was only a matter of time before this war, considering the magnitude, has spilled over into another country. Well, now it's happened, and so far we are not dealing with it. So I can't blame him, really, for his harsh rhetoric. Uh, they tried to check him in, at NATO and in the U UN Security Council, and I think at this point he just had enough of the bullshit. He just doesn't even care what anybody thinks anymore because, again, war is going on, people are dying, people are without power, people are freezing, and Russians are still allowed to proceed with their attack. This headline is um, from yesterday, but again, it's more of the same. Why? Why, you ask? Why are you scrambling to react? Why does it surprise you that this war spilled into NATO territory? It was not a matter of if, it was a matter of when. And now it finally happened, and it's going to continue happening until force is used to push Russians out of Ukraine. Thank you for watching.